How are you feeling today? I'm good, thank you. How are you feeling today? <laughs> I'm feeling pretty excited because uh, I heard that for a new release for Wasabi Wallet. And I wanted to ask you, does it have anything big for users? So yes, there is one thing that it has and nothing more. This is a really big one and it's a quite unusual uh, release. It's, it's not necessarily a, a feature improvement for making Bitcoin transactions per se. For a long time, people had this concern that they might not be able to spend their coin joint coins. We thought we might actually have to to mitigate this this concern and the thing that we're introducing now is a way to buy anything with your bitcoin in as private manner as, as possible and and that's a pretty big deal expect a new button to pop up in your home screen the buy anything button so you click on it and you can buy anything anything that you can imagine so you click on the button and then you think of the thing that you want. The thing arrives the next second and you pay it with Wasabi. No, 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 no. So we are integrating an existing service. The existing service is, is called the Coincier service from Shoppingbit. When someone clicks on the buy anything button, then a chat window appears in Wasabi. In this chat window, you can talk to first the robot and then a person on the other end of the internet and then with the robot again to actually get your your desired product to your door or even things that doesn't require shipping like flight tickets hotels all kinds of stuff and the best thing is you pay with bitcoin and and, and you don't need to go to an exchange uh, or you don't need to convert to fiat uh, you can just buy for valuable goods and services directly with the most valuable money that you have. The cool thing is that this is just inside Wasabi. And right? so you never leave the, the protected environment that Wasabi offers you. Uh, and you keep all of the benefits uh, of Wasabi in terms of, for example, Tor. So you don't use ClearNet to talk to your team of butlers. Uh, instead, you route all of the traffic through Tor. Right? And uh, if you make multiple orders, we will use a new Tor identity for each of them. Um, which, which means that even your team of butlers cannot spy on you if you do it right. Was it something that just popped into your mind or has it been in the works for a long time? It's, a, it's an interesting story. So Max and Rafe and me came together and we were thinking about some, some new ideas for Wasabi because we had things in our minds that uh, those are obvious things like hardware wallet coin joins mobile wallet development and 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 some other pretty obvious things to 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 go on with but all these things takes a very long time of development so we were thinking maybe we can find something that can deliver a large amount of value in a very small amount of time we cycled through many ideas, right? Like anonymous chat GPT interface and stuff like that. But this is this was the one that actually sticks. What do you think that people will use it for in the future? Like uh, for buying stuff like I do in the supermarket or is it only specific items that, that might be more difficult to come by? It really depends on how you want to use it. Right? So uh, unfortunately, fresh food is, is not available to be bought simply because uh, shipping that is quite difficult. But if you want to buy pasta uh, or like some dried meat jerky or something, uh, that, that should be no issue. But I do think that this is about a number one convenience. So let's assume that you have a list of things that you want to buy. It's, it's from 10 different online stores. Those online stores are in different jurisdictions and you don't want the hassle of signing up for a new account on each of these websites giving your bank account information and your shipping information to all of these 10 websites. So instead, you, you let the concierge deal with all of that. Uh, and uh, that that means that you get a lot of convenience for large and maybe complex orders. Cars are, are also something that I think are, are going to be good. I mean, people like their Supras and Lambos. Now the Bitcoin is pumping, it might be time to, to upgrade your ride. And you can buy a car very well with the service. Or then just, you know, really like unique things like you want to have a special type of, of music instrument you know a big harp uh, or you might want to have like a high quality tech bunch of storage like hundreds of terabytes or uh, lenses for your camera 
at first we we will put a limit there that uh, we ask people to not ask for items cheaper than than a thousand dollar or or the total order of them should be should be more than a thousand dollar because we are afraid we might actually have too much too much interest here and and shopping bit would get too much requests and and we couldn't serve everyone but uh, but later on we can we can lower the the price of the product of course you know this is a completely new 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 territory for us so we've never been in e-commerce right if it was savvy it was always software development and not really the the business e-commerce goods and services kind of stuff was was not really something we are familiar with so right now we are just sparkling with ideas like uh we can we can put in some some price discovery mechanism maybe some some uh, generative language model to help the user figure out what they want before they get to the agent uh the humans so 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 we just have many ideas and 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 first we implement a simple chat interface with an agent and see where the demand and the feedback will lead us in the future if it's a, if it's a useful service if people find it useful and valuable and for the last question what will be your first purchase through this tool alpaca socks above the thousand dollars worth of alpaca socks yes i'm going to be an alpaca socks reseller what will be your first purchase through this tool? I think I might buy another developer for Wasabi. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Hopefully it will be an addition and not a replacement. Yeah, exactly. We always need more help. Thank you, Max, for the well, interview. Thank you, Danny, for all the good questions.